hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to talk about the JDBC row set so here I have opened I mean JDK JDK API in Eclipse and here you can see row set is an interface right and there are many more interfaces like there are five interfaces which extends this row set interface so let's see like uh, first of all JDBC row set so this extends row set directly right and we have a uh, something is called cached row set that also extends row set uh, filtered row set uh, if you look into the filtered row set then this extends uh, wave row set and wave row set again extends cached row set and cached row set again finally extends row set so directly or indirectly in this family whatever row set you have that extends row set oh, again as i told you we have a filter row set wave row set and join row set so this all row set extends a row set interface and row set interface extends result set interface right so at least from technical point of view at least uh, you understood what's the I mean uh, what is the top interface in row set and how one interface uh, within this family extends another uh, uh, interface so now uh, to for better understanding uh, let's go through the slide so this uh, video is dedicated to row set in JDBC uh, this is overview row set interface is basically an extension of JDBC result set and is part of uh, the package is called Java x.sql uh, that is built on the standard con con contextual structure of the Java wins component model the code design structure is inherently reflected in the subjectivity of row set interface it makes it makes sense uh, that row set has a set of Java based properties which can be set retrieved with the available setters and getter methods so if you go to the row set interface then we have a lot of setters and getters for the different properties in addition to that row set also implements the java bins mechanism of event notification that allows other component registered to the instance to receive notification when a certain uh, event is triggered so using row set you can uh, implement some kind of listener which will listen some event uh, these additional capabilities make it more flexible and leverage productivity when used effectively so this was just overview on row set now types of row set so just I have shown you in Eclipse there are uh, basically on high level there are two types of row set objects connected row set and disconnected row set so when we talk about the connected row set, connected row set are those which establish a connection with the database and retain it until the application terminates. Disconnected row set on the other hand establishes a connection, executes a query such as retrieving data from the database and closes the connection. Now something you need to note down about the row set, row set and its extension, extens, extended family are all interfaces right just I have shown you that means we need a reference implementation class of a specific row set extension to create an instance row set is built on the top of the JDBC driver as a layered software its implementation is open to everyone including all JDBC driver vendors they typically package them in a jar file and supply them along with the JDBC driver there are several such third party vendors who provide the implementation package of Roset, Roset along with the JDBC driver. So if you want to use Roset then you require a basically uh, uh, jar file which is provided by your database vendor. Right? So these are all basically uh, interfaces right. Uh, different type of Rosets. Uh, that all are interfaces but uh, you require a concrete implementation which is provided by the database vendor as a jar file and that you will have to add in your class path now types of implementation 
according to implementation there are five different categories of row set so if you have a like jdbc row set cached row set wave row set filtered row set and joined row set, row set. so these are all interfaces which extend row set interface that, that, that we have seen in the eclipse now let's talk about the jdbc row set that is the first type of row set so jdbc row set ex interface is an extension of row set interface basically this extends uh, row set interface and is the only connected row set in the in this family right so when we talk about the connected row set then jdbc row set is the connected row set only it basically acts as a wrapper around the result set object with some additional functionality the primary advantage of using jdbc row set is that it enables the result set object to be used as a java wins component this component then can be used in much the same way uh, we use any other java wins java wins component in an application another advantage is that it adds a scrollable and updatable capabilities to the result set object so row sets are by default updatable and scrollable this means we can now move back and forth uh, the list of the records fetched from the database uh, through the result set object uh, which otherwise uh, would not have been easily possible right so if you get the result set object so by default result set is not updatable and scrollable but uh, row set is by default itself it's a scrollable and updatable that means you can move back and forth and you can even you can insert a, a, any record you can update any record or even you can delete any record now when we talk about the cast row set that is the second type of row set cast row set also extends row set interface and is a disconnected row set that acts as a container for database records and caches them in the memory in a sense we may think of it as a subset of actual records maintained in the memory this reminds us somewhat of the concept of views view we create from the actual table through sql right so basically view is nothing but the uh, view the view may not contain the uh, all columns uh, from your actual source table right so view may contain uh, columns from the different table right so that is kind of a result set right uh, being disconnected cached row set is more lightweight the c the connection is established for a brief period only when certain changes ne need to be reflected on the cache data and ultimately propagated back to the actual database however this does not mean it lacks the capability of jdbc row set on the contrary it is equipped with the additional capabilities of the caching on the others uh, on the downside connection has to be established every time to reflect any changes performance may be slower than jdbc row set but on the upside is it is lightweight and we can get a be better efficiency when working with the large amount of data so if you have a large amount of data then cast row set is the good candidate for that now next row set type is wave row set so wave row set uh, wave row set extends cast row set right so basically this is the sub interface of cast row set so wave row set extends cast row set uh, capabilities but it is very special in in sense that it in addition to providing all the features of cast row set it can read and write xml document it is useful when communication between disparate component is established via xml this is particularly seen in an enterprise application scenario uh, or in a web web service communication records fetched from the database can be shipped across tiers over internet protocol uh, in an enterprise application without having to maintain an active connection this row set also provides supports for synchronized production and consumption of result sets across tier 
whether be it in an XML format or uh, in a disconnected manner. Now next uh, result set type, uh, row set type we have a filter row set. Filter row set uh, is an extension of uh, wave row set. That means filter row set interface extends uh, wave row set. Uh, so it is and wave row set again extends uh, row set interface. So, uh, so it has all the capabilities of wave row set as well as the cache row set. So basically your filter row set extends wave row set and wave row set again extends cached row set. Right? So basically filter row set uh, inherit, inherits properties or features from the wave row set as well as cached row set. With this row set we can apply filtering criteria to face selected rows from the data source so that we can work with the relevant data. This row set object paves the way for a disconnected it leave filtering uh, mechanism without uh, firing a query into the database. So basically you fetch the record from the database uh, and uh, you can filter, you can add some criteria right and based on the criteria you can filter the records right we can limit what we want to visualize from the record list without the involvement of database connection it is something like uh, using a where clause without writing a sql query right so you can apply you can apply some kind of predicate to add some where clause now joined row set so joined row set extends wave row set in addition to the capabilities of uh, wave row set and cached row set, we can perform a SQL join operation without connecting to the data source. Uh, this row set enables, uh, enables us to create SQL join between row set objects. Related records from the different row sets can be combined. It, it, uh, it form this row set object, right? So basically row set is uh, uh, ro uh, join row set is uh, very beneficial when you join the I mean data from the different uh, row sets and you provide the result right so in that case join row set is very uh, useful now let's uh, go for the conclusion the row set uh, objects are derived from the result set interface as a result the capabilities of re uh, result set objects are inherently derived but row set objects are special for their new capabilities. The implementation classes of row set interface helps lose much of the boilerplate code needed for the database programming. The code is not only uh, cleaner but also efficient. The, limit, uh, the limitations, the limitation of result set reduced to a uh, great extent if we use row set. This excellent feature can be actually re realized and appreciated when we start using uh, feature in JDBC programming. So that's all about the um, row set in JDBC. In next programming, we are going to uh, do some hands-on. We'll see some practical example and how we make use of uh, row set that we'll see in next example. So thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial.